So it's a secret rare alternate art. That's what it is. All right, guys, what's going on? So we finally have seen almost all the cards, or we think we've seen all of them. These are a bunch of the alternate arts from the main set. They look really, really good. They're, I think one per box is what it's looking like. These are the secret rares. They look amazing. And what we recently found out is these secret rares have alternate arts. So here's one of the shanks and the shanks actually has two separate rarities. So there's that one and this one. These are the best quality pictures I could find. So I thought I'd throw them up here for you guys to see, but there's some dude in Singapore that's opening these packs. So since this is a pirate game and this is all about pirating, I pirated his video and recorded it so you guys could see what some of these pack openings look like because I can't get my hands on packs yet. So for the gratification of seeing a secret rare being pulled out of a pack, this guy doesn't really strip him the secret rares. I don't know, it might be something about his fingernail style. His fingernails are serious. I would not want to mess with this guy. Fortunately, I'm in the US and I don't think he's gonna be coming all the way across the ocean to get mad at me for stealing his video and maybe, you know, might even help uh, help him out posting his stuff. But yo, he's done this thing. I don't know how it works over in the East, but Bandai does not take kindly to people breaking street date in the United States. So I don't know how this guy is managing this, but there it is. That's the Yamato secret rare. So it looks like you get four secret rares in a case. That's what it seems like. We haven't seen exactly because this guy did half cases, I'm pretty sure. And he opened a bunch of secret rares, but I'm pretty sure it's four secret rares per case, one alternate art per box, and that can either be an alternate art of one of the character cards or an alternate art of the leader card. I'm not sure if you hit both of those in one, but yeah, this is me recording a screen, and that's how I got these videos. I found this in some Facebook group, but this guy's got some dangerously sharp shrip'em nails. And here we're seeing another strip him. So let's see what he's gonna get from this pack. Um, yeah, so it looks like four secret rares per case. And if the, you get, and there's a chance that one of those may be an alternate art. I don't know if there's anything definite for sure. Oh, this is probably my favorite alternate art from the set back here. So I had to just show this one. So I think this is, you know, if you get one in a box, that's the Boa alt art. That card looks pretty awesome. Uh, his fingernail is kind of obscuring her face right now. But yeah, you get one of these per box and in a case you'll get four secret rares. So pretty good chance at hitting a secret rare in a box. That's, you know, a lot, that's basically like in DBS opening uh, Clash of Fates or Battle Evolutions. That's basically the same rate for the secret rare. So we may see the secret rares dip as low as, you know, 40, 50 bucks, maybe closer to the price of a box. But the alternate art secret rares, I don't know what the case ratios are on that. I don't know uh, how to find any of that information. It's just kind of gonna be determined as we see them. I mean, this is before the set is out. The set legally is not out until Friday. So somehow this dude's got his boxes and he's opening them. I was hoping to get mine as soon as possible, but it looks like the earliest I'm gonna get mine is either Saturday, maybe Friday if I'm lucky. I'm pretty sure this is Shanks here. Yeah, you can kind of see the top of Shanks' head here. So we got to see the uh, Yamato uh, secret rare pulled. We got to see the Boa alt art and He's got Shanks here behind this one. Shanks looks pretty cool, but the alt art Shanks looks really awesome also, which I showed in the beginning of the video. I really don't know what the case ratios are on that, but you know, the regular art on the secret rares looks very, very cool. So really running any version, I think the alternate arts are really gonna be more for collecting purposes, maybe a one of in the deck, and then, you know, collect some for yourself if you can. And here it is, this is gonna be, oh, this is a uh, promo pack. So each box comes with like a box topper and the box topper has like an expanded art of one of the cards. And I'm pretty sure they're foil. It's kind of hard to tell. You can't really see the cards that well in these videos, but um, the next one here, this is the hit. This is what I've been waiting for. I mean, this is the card that I, they they spoiled this card way before the, like anything. This was one of the first cards that they spoiled. I've been trying to figure out where it is. I've been looking for it. They originally put it as a three cost card. I've been pirating the heck out of it and putting it on every single thing I could possibly find. I just put on some shoes. I put on shirts. I just pirate it in every way that I possibly can. And here it is right behind this card. This is the alternate art Yamato. Definitely the coolest card I've ever seen in my entire life. There is, I hope, 
that I'm able to see this card in person. I hope that I get to pull it from one of the things that I'm shrippaming. But it looks like you get two Shanks and two Yamato, and one of them each has a chance of being the alt art. I don't know if there is a third alt art Yamato, but this is what we've seen for the alternate art so far. This was spoiled a while back, and I just... I don't think there's a trading card that exists, in my opinion, that looks cooler than this. The different kinds of art inspiration and art history that have led up to this being an object that exists, the profound Japanese inspiration from the different ink style paintings and woodblock printing that's happened over hundreds of years has come together to make this shiny piece of cardboard with a demon's child demon on it that has modeled herself or himself to be the savior of the country that was modeled on Edo Japan. I mean, it's just, it's layers and layers and layers and layers and layers deep. And the fact that this thing exists is just absolutely amazing. So I'm really, really hyped. I hope I get to see this card. Congratulations to this dangerous fingernail man. I'm pretty sure these are all getting sold though. I think this is like he's opening and selling stuff immediately. I think that's what this is. So I'd be pretty bummed if I pulled that and I had to sell it. That would really actually bum me out really badly. Um, but yeah, I think I saw some prices of this being sold online it looked like one of them sold for around $500 so I don't know where that will settle I'd say probably realistic maybe somewhere around three if it's not guaranteed in the case you know that's harder to determine what it's gonna be worth but I mean this card is just so insanely cool looking I've I've literally never laid my eyes on a card and I haven't even seen it in person yet but you can kind of see some of the subtle textures in some of the pictures there are some other pictures floating around out there um, but yeah, people are opening these cards. They're out there and hopefully we'll have ours soon. So we'll get to do a high quality, excellent video quality shrip them. Definitely doing a live stream and probably also going to do a case opening and some box openings as soon as I get those cards in my hand. So here it is. This is the card. This is the card I've been waiting for. It is a five cost. It's not a three cost. I think originally it showed it as a three cost when they spoiled the card. Um, I think it was just shown as like a 3.5, but yeah, this ended up being the secret rare and really, really good choice for the secret rare. So uh, I hope you guys get some of these cards for yourself. I hope you have a good chance of pulling some of the stuff you want. It sounds like secret rares are going to be relatively easy to pull, but the alternate art secret rares are going to be what seem to be more difficult. And uh, we're going to see this set is going to be released on Friday in Japan. It's coming out in December in the U.S. Super pre-release is at the end of September, so get yourself some starter decks, start practicing, and look forward to uh, getting on the Holy Hexagon and running it. Thank you so much!